Diana Finch. I'm the Managing Director of the Bristol Pound. I've been doing that since mid-2018. And before that, my background really has been in non-profit leadership and management and in the design and implementation of accounting systems. The question I asked was really trying to get at how we go about changing our society so that people uh, adopt different behaviours behaviours that are much more likely to land us up with a, um, a sustainable planet, you know, where we're not using resources and creating pollution today that will impact um, future generations ahead of us um, and, uh, and indeed the life on the whole planet Earth. Um, and I was considering, should we be um, rewarding people financially for making better choices with their lifestyle? Or, and, or if you like, um, charging people money for their behaviours that are less than good for the environment. The, the reason this is a, a moral dilemma is that it, well, I mean, I just, just before I, I posed the question, I'd already come up with, you know, seven or eight answers, some of which were yes and some of which were no for different reasons. Uh, and, and I think it's not at all easy. You might think the easy answer is, yeah, sure, then, you know, if that's going to encourage it, uh, then let's do it. But one, um, I'm not sure if it will encourage it in the longer term. There's plenty of research which, which suggests that in the longer term, uh, financial incentives don't actually impact on our behaviour. But also, there are some moral perils in there, perhaps. You know, should it be the case that um, the polluter pays, it might sound obvious, but there again, that might just mean that rich people do what the hell they like and poor people uh, have very limited choices. Um, arguably, that is exactly the kind of uh, you know, moral peril that we, we don't want to see. I expected that people would just go, yeah, people should, should pay for polluting because that's, the, that's how we currently think. One of the questions I had put in there was around, you know, this is much deeper than paying people or not paying people or whatever. This is about transparency of information and education, because at the moment, most of the information we get is, uh, is either very manipulated by the people trying to sell us things and encourage us to fly around the world and get the latest this and the newest that. Um, and um, and we're not told the truth on any of that packaging. You know, even a lot of the green statements that various um, corporates make about their products and services are largely greenwash and hype. Um, and, you know, actually, we just don't know. When we go shopping, how do we really know what impact we're having? We, we don't know. Um, so, actually, that education piece, transparency of information, is kind of where this starts. And uh, so I, I was sort of hoping that some people would, would recognize that actually, you know, this is a really deep systemic problem. I think the next question is, how do we insist that, that corporates do the right thing and properly inform us um, of the impacts of our choices and the impacts of their products and services. Um, and that is really difficult because corporations have a huge amount of power. You know, we, we often think, well, regulation, you know, let's just have more regulation and then everyone will have to do that. And we'll, you know, different countries all around the world can pass laws saying you have to list your ingredients. So you have to, and you know, and this has kind of happened, you know, now when you buy whatever it is in the supermarket in terms of food, it has a list of ingredients. Um, However, it doesn't really tell you the full provenance of those ingredients, and it's a very limited set of things that you're told. Um, I think on a wider scale, though, uh, actually, government type regulation has very little impact and very little ability to control the behavior of large corporations. Indeed, it's the other way around. Corporations are the ones that sue governments all around the world uh, if they feel their profits are being um, impacted on negatively by government policies. That is the real danger, that we have allowed corporations to become not too big to fail, but too big to be stopped. And I think that is a huge problem for us as a planet. 
thanks very much for joining us um, and giving us your insights into into the data uh, and some the question that you asked during the ethical challenge and and thanks for giving us an update on bristol pay diana finch thanks very much it's been a pleasure thank you